Hello friends, welcome to BISPTrainings.com. My name is Sumit and this is my third video in Jaitan tutorial series. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about the file input and out output options in Jaitan. So let's understand how can we perform the file input and output operations in Jaita and then we will have looked for a word count program in Jaita. So to perform file input out output operations in Jaita, I'm going to create launch the Jaita editor. So let me switch to that Jaita 2.1 and Jaita. And the file which I'm going to read and write is for operation purpose, we are going to use this word file or we have other files as well like Azure or Twitter or sample text file is also there or sample file is also there. So we can use this sample file. So I'm going to use this sample file to read this, read the file or open this file using Jaitan and then this is the data over here. And in this and after that, we'll be going to see how can we write or how can we create open a file in a right mode and store the data into that file so first of all i'm going to open a file in read mode so i create here my file or let's say my underscore file is equal to open file name is d drive sample dot txt in read mode and just to print the data, so my underscore file, my underscore file dot read. This will display the content of the file. This will display the whole file uh, from the beginning till end. And now if I again try to read the file, my file dot read, I'm getting an error message. Actually, because I'm at the end of the file, so it's and no more text contains after this so that it is not showing anything it displays simple blank values so just write it run it again and you can see i'm getting one blank because it means this file does not contain any more data so in order to read the file again from the beginning the function here which is called my under which is called seek function we can use the seek function to return back to the first character and then if i run this again it will read the file if I would like to read the line one by one, so there is a command here, my file dot read line. So before read the line, we need to again switch back to the first index. And then I can read the line one by one, my file dot read line, and it will read line one by one. Again, I can run the command. And you can see it has read it first line. If I would like to know that what is the current index, so my file, my underscore file dot, so it will tell me that I'm line number 559 line. So there are more than this much line. So we are on this particular address. So I'll just type a command to seek to the first position. And then we can use a for loop as well to read a line. So I use a for loop for line in my underscore file space and print line and you can see it prints the line wise so it print all the lines by one from that particular file so these are the various commands which can be used to read the file and finally once we read the file after the file has been read it successfully we can use a close command my file dot close this is to close the file my file dot close if i would like to know whether the file has been closed or not so i can type a command my file dot closed so it will return uh, my file dot closed it's not a function so it's not a function so that's why i a simple type of command here my file dot close one means the file has been successfully and if the file is open it will return zero. let's suppose i run a command again for 
stop reading the file so i'll open the file again and this time i would like to know what's the mode of the file so i type a com command my file dot so you can see the file is in opens in read mode so like this these are the various commands which can be used to, for, to perform some operations so like this we can check whether the file is open in read mode or in write mode so if the file is open in read mode and if you if you want to write some commands into it write some text into it so we can close the file and then open into write mode i would like to know the file name so my file dot name the file name is d drive d colon slash sample dot text so that's the complete address so by using this we can get the complete location of the file. in similar way uh, let me close it first of all my file dot let me call close function and now i'm going to open a file in write mode so again I open my file equal to open and i'm going to write a file sample text dot txt write mode and now we can write a command write some text into it my file dot write hello slash and this is a test file save it and finally my underscore file dot close and let's go and have a look whether this file has been created on d drive or not so you can see the file has been created that is the current date and sample text is created. If I open this, you can see it, it is stored in new line because the pass a slash and command here, slash and. So it creates a new line. Hello in one line and this is a test file in new line. So that's how we can read or write a file. So it's pretty easy to read or write a file. In Jayathan, it's very easy. Now let's have a look to a program and by using that program, we'll be going to see how can we create a word count program? So I'm going to create a file first of all. And in that file, uh, we are going to write a Python code. And that Python code we are going to execute in Jython to read the file in. That's a word count program. That's the file which I'm going to use. That's a file which contains some of the data. And I would like to know if a specific characters has been occurred how many times. Like here. We have again 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 so it will display that how many times this again has appeared how many times the has appeared so it will display according to that so let's have a look so for this first of all i'm going to write a program so for that i can either we can directly type a command by using python or we can directly type a code i can, we can directly write in a text file as well but for proper indentation i'm going to use the python editor so that we can get the proper indentation. The indentation is not be an issue. So start import sys def clean word. This will be the file name which you are going to pass. Now, first of all, we are we will be going to remove any punctuation and maps to the common case. So first convert all the words into lower case. So lower. It will convert the whole file into lower case. And then I'm to remove any special characters special characters like uh, exclamation sign or comma or anything so i'll specify while word and word minus one in double quotes full stop comma if it is a, if there is a semicolon or exclamation sign word is equal to word colon minus one and i copy this paste in and view this should be it will return word words equal to so it's a set of unique words and counts so this will count the number of words and unique words and counting so if length of sys dot ar 
gv argument not equal to 2 then it will print a message print loses jaithan w count dot py and python and indentation is very important else file is equal to open and whatever arguments user is going to pass a r g v one so it will access file for read mode and then we are going to read file read lines one by one so i store into lines lines is equal to file dot read lines it will read one by one and file dot so once the file has been read and stored into lines it will be closed then i run a for loop for line in lines for word in line dot split word is equal to clean word words word is equal to word dot get word comma zero plus one so this will update the count it will count the number of words if they are equal to the existing it will increase the it will uh, increment the counter and we have keys is equal to word dot basically word dot keys and keys dot sort for word in keys print percent minus five i percent s percent word word comma word so that's the code let's test this code so in order to test this code i'm going to save this file first of all I save this code on in the same folder in jaithan folder jaithan document one and give a name test or word count and the extension will be dot py so word count dot py and execute it to run it first of all i run import sys sys dot exit zero and here i run jaithan word count dot py comma and i'm going to give the file name so in this file name basically there is one argument is needed which file we are going to read so i'm going to read the file which is stored on my d drive basically that's the word file i'm going to use this so it's on d drive word so i'm going to pass the address so i'll specify d drive word dot and as soon as i press enter you can see the program has been executed successfully and i got the output that it occurs one time good occurs one time the occurs one time and this the occur four okay four times here and we have so basically it is the same one it's displayed in multiple lines again occurred three times so that's how we can perform the word count program in jython so by using python code how can we perform it so that's the code to do the word count that's all in this video that's how the file input and out output operation can be performed in jython so you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on jython if you have any queries, you can write to us on www.bisptrainings.com. You can connect with us for a customized training on Jaitan. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.